Hello there everyone and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. So last time we were just finishing up with our chow. Oh, what's this? Dr. Eggman. Oh, look at those graphics. Very good. Were these graphics good for their time or not? Like, I can't think back to like... 13 years ago. I just can't. It's very blurry as well. And this is their HD version since it's on PlayStation. Slash, uh, PC. Oh, well that beam does not look like it's friendly. It just makes you wonder where they get all this stuff from. Oh look, it's the moon! Boom. Boom bang! You know, I'm sure like destroying an entire moon, or at least half of it, would have more effects on the Earth than just being there. But we can see a timer there, which is when he's probably going to destroy the world. Here's the gang. Yes. Oh, there's an emerald. So sorry for this terrible cutscene quality, but that's pretty much as good as you're gonna get. All right, and another Tails level, unfortunately. Still better than uh, the Knuckles levels, though, so I can't be too angry. But I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful in this level because there are a lot of places to fall off, and I am me. And I definitely know that I'm the kind of person to fall off quite a lot. Oh no, you've destroyed the floor. How will I cope? You should be getting another upgrade now. Here we go. Booster. This allows you to hover when you hold down the A button during a jump. So we can actually glide now. And we're going to wait for this, this elevator to come down. I don't know why their only elevators in this game are gigantic, like, magnet uh, weight things. Very weird choice. Tight! Now, if you get certain combos, like I've said, it does give you um, words to, like, give you points. So we just got a tight! Cool, dude! Tight! Like, just... That sounds so cringe. I don't like this fact, the fact that these planes are always trying to shoot at us. Very annoying. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't. But every single platform will break in this stage. Just to make sure that we use our new booster. And don't forget that it exists. Ow, ow. I thought it was going to fall on the right side. It normally is better to take these levels a lot slower than normal, but... I, I'm, I have a lot of things to do. I'm a busy woman. So I just sort of uh, skip everything. Come on. Let's press that button so that it doesn't fall down on us. And shooty shooty bang bang, my favourite kind of game. Oh 
come on, I did not mean to walk into that. And they should not fall. Very good. I actually did it correctly for a change. And I don't know why it's so loud. Game. Like, you hear that massively loud plane, don't you? I certainly do. Oh my gosh. Just these noises. So bloody loud. I'm sorry if it's too loud for you guys as well. I am struggling massively. There we go. I actually avoided a plane shot for a change. Oh, look at these freaky dicky platforms. Dude. If, like, the government actually built flooring that could manoeuvre like that, I think we'd never have... Like, we'd have an endless amount of car crashes. So I'm glad that our roads are not made with such lack of consideration for people's lives. There you go. Ah! I was trying to run. Let me walk. There we go. I did it! Another four minute stage. They're actually quite long sometimes. And plus I'm not very fast with these tails. An A rank for that? I kept getting hit. Oh, whatever. Oh, I did so good. I got no rank and everything. <laughs> Mountainous region. Oh, gosh. Not this level. I didn't expect the inside of the mines to be like this. This is going to be tougher than I thought. I really do wish that uh, I didn't have to play this level. This is probably one of my least favorite levels. In the entire game, in all honesty. Uh, it's... It's just not very good. I think I just saw the emerald. I think it's on this one. Where is it? Somewhere down here? This is what I mean! This level is in... Aggravating. Then I'll just say up above. Water powered lift hall. So we need to get into a hall somewhere. I don't know how we get in. Can we get in through one of these? On the pulley on the wall. I thought it was on here. It must be somewhere around here. Where is it? Well, there's... There it is. Finally found it. But I just hate this level. Left eye on the jumbo face does not give me a lot to work with, unfortunately. Just a left eye of something. That's all we know. There's a face. And it's in the left eye. Okay. Okay, I think that was not the one I was looking for. On the jumbo face? Where the hell is this jumbo face? Ah, someone help! Okay, where is it? The largest room. Is the largest room of this level. Try digging inside the ring. Wait, I didn't read that. So if you press start, you can read the uh, the hints. The largest room, and then what was the third one? The ring that is over the room with two switches. Digging into the ring over the room, two switches. I hate having to investigate these things. Very, very troublesome. But I think... There we go. That actually did help a lot. 
the jumbo face. I'll remember what those are in future. Underwater brick room. Okay, this is where the fun starts. Down below, yeah, I figured as much. We're gonna have to go back up and... Change the water level again to the third one. Which is back up here. I should have just not touched the water levers, to be honest, and we would have been fine. That's all in hindsight. Okay, we need to get down below somehow. Underwater path behind caution sign that warns about ghosts. So it should be this one, I'm guessing. Should be down here. We also need to get a snorkel from somewhere around here. So we know that the emerald is there, but I do need to collect the, uh, the upgrade from this level before we continue. We can also drown in this game. Oh gosh, we have five seconds left. There we go, we got our air necklace. An oxygen tank necklace, you can now breathe underwater. So now we can actually swim indefinitely. And the reason I want to collect this is actually because I've gone through the entire game without collecting this before. And uh, one of the final levels does require a lot of knuckles swimming. And I tell you what, if you don't have that upgrade, you pretty much will be left to a torturous fate. Come on, where is it? Let me get... There we go. So it was very important that we up that we actually get that air necklace upgrade there. Because otherwise I'd get to the final level and be like, Jesus, this is impossible. That was tough. Rank D. Feels bad, man. Feels very bad, man. Like, come on, that wasn't a D rank. It wasn't that bad. Oh, I think now it's time for our uh, cart level. Tails, any news yet? For some reason, I'm not getting a signal from the six remaining Chaos Emeralds. Maybe Eggman took the emeralds into outer space. Outer space? Outer space? Oh no! Oh golly! Knuckles. Oh, there's Knuckles. Long time no see. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the Master Emerald pieces was tougher than I thought it would be. Where are we anyway? <laughs> hey, where are you going? Move aside, Very convenient that he was I just there. To find the transcripts between Eggman and the president in the government computer. I'm following the president's limo right now. How how can you just find out the exact location of the the okay, president that easily? That doesn't sound very legit to me. But anyway, I really like these stages and uh, not this stage, but the Rouge Cart stage. I actually held what was it like the fourth highest world record for time on it at one point. It was like a couple of seconds, if if not just like a quarter of a second off the uh, the world record, but um, nowhere near good enough for that these days. I don't know. Ah, why is triangle? Must remember that. But yeah, these cart stages used to be easy peasy for me. Don't know how they're gonna be anymore. But I shouldn't die on this stage. Definitely shouldn't run out of time either. Some of the stages it is very possible to run out of time. But this one should be okay. Because we are trying to find the president before like Eggman kills him or something along those lines. But the more we hit walls, obviously, the slower we go. And the more that we drift, we do lose a bit of speed, but it does help us take the corners. Yahoo! So yeah, there we go. And if we hit other cars, we do also get slowed down as well. 
I don't know how I missed that one. But this game has so many different mechanics and elements to it that it's like just playing a bunch of little mini games. And we have so much time left that it, the timer on the top left it only goes up to 99. So it just it's just going to say that we have 99 seconds left until we have less than that. So we are quite far ahead. But if I'm not careful with my boost, I can just go straight off the ledge. So not something I want to be doing, surprisingly enough. It is also possible to move your cart in such a way to get it to glitch out and make it so that you can do the entire stage backwards. But I'm not very consistent at making it happen, so I'm just not going to try it. Other people that are much better than me at this game can do it. But there we go, we've got 68 seconds left, let's keep going. Definitely not a world record this time. But still, an entire minute left, not too bad. There's his car. Hello President, I'm going to hijack your vehicle gonna hijack it and um, take you out to dinner show you a good time so we got a rank B for that actually that's pretty slow that's pretty damn slow I don't know maybe I'll bring up my supreme kart skills when we do the Rouge version so kart racing with three courses is now available nice Mr. President, reports show that since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. Our financial communities are impacted, and our satellite communications are down. Well, yeah, if... An emergency <sighs> meeting has been called. No offense, President, but if crisis. someone blew up half the moon, I could imagine that people would be a little distressed. Me the details. Exactly just what is it that you this want? Is, this is a hunkalicious president. Reason. Look at him. <laughs> Otherwise. Otherwise, your country will cease to exist. You have 24 hours to give me your answer. So he just wants to kill Americans, is that it? What the? <laughs> Sonic if Sonic was going to break into the president's limousine, he would surely be shot on sight. And then Tails is just hacking into his surveillance system. This is ridiculous. Like, the whole concept behind this cutscene is just... What? Mr. President, we're receiving an incoming signal from our agent. The woman just doesn't even care. Like, his secretary's just sitting there. Uh, President? Mr. President? Excuse me? Inside that pyramid? I saw Eggman go inside the pyramid. And more importantly... I saw that bat girl go inside with him as well. Well, you saw them too, right? Well, yeah. I should be able to Well, get yeah. There. I don't know what this space colony is all about, but I'll find and destroy that camp and then kick their imperial butts. All right. I'll go and find the entrance. Let's go find the entrance then. Oh, I don't like these. I don't like these tails levels. <laughs> And if we fall in this quicksand, we do just die. So I've got to be a little bit careful here. But, you know, as long as I don't act like a moron, we should be okay. Just make it nice and slow, enjoy the journey. Just relax, have a good time, you know? I think there's just animals in like these side rooms. It's like, how did a tiger get into here? How did a skunk get into like an Egyptian pyramid? Come on, kill the thing. I think there's another character upgrade somewhere. Not sure where it is. 
Uh, we might want to go and find it. What's down here? Is there anything down here? Oh, oh. Where are we going? I can't actually... Okay, that was just a way down. Never mind. It's getting very confused then. So I don't want to miss anything because I don't want to have to go back and collect it. Just simply because I'm a very lazy human being. So let's just try and not rush through this stage in particular. And we should be good to go. Here we go, we got all that stuff. Oh, there's monkeys! Killer monkeys! Kill the killer monkeys! Cool! Okay, well we can't get into here yet, that may be where the next upgrade is. But we can't get into there yet because we don't have our upgraded gun blaster. Eventually we'll have it though. There's a chow box down there. But so far no deaths, feeling pretty good about that. There you go dead monkeys. Ten little monkeys jumping on the bed. One got blown up and lost his head. Something along those lines I'm guessing. It's such a weird song. Like why are there like ten little monkeys jumping on someone's bed? Just, I just don't get it. Like who does that? Come on, this is no maze, this is just annoying. Here we go. Very interesting level design though, I guess, of this place. And why are there so many monkeys in Egypt? I don't know, I didn't think there were any monkeys in Egypt. Maybe I'm wrong. Very important question, does anyone know if there are monkeys in Egypt? Have you tried slow descents? I mean, I've been using my hover this whole time, but... Let's just say no, for the sake of your well-being. No! Damn it! Ah! Oh, I didn't press hover. See, that's why he was warning me about using my hover. That's pretty bad. I can't believe I just died like that. Oh, that sucks. Well, we have been sent back to the previous... Previous checkpoint, which wasn't too far back, luckily. But I just need to make sure I'm actually pressing the button I need to. Instead of being a dopey person about it. It's so easy to just not press what you need to sometimes. And I hate that just falling in the sand is instant death on Tails and Eggman. His camera angles, man. Not a fan. Okay. Well, we obviously didn't lose a lot of time. Okay. Kill all the monkeys first. So it's a shame that we died like right at the end of that stage. Uh, we probably, if we have no rings, we're gonna get like a D. E. I gotta oh. Do better next time. Oh. Jesus, these ranks are getting worse. He is the worst rank you can get as far as I'm aware.